Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravin Jangir here, your electrical faculty in, and in this video I am going to dictate about the principle of operation of HVDC transmission system. What was the basic components related with this, we ha I have already discussed and what was the fundamental related with all the components which we are using nowadays, okay. Now I will move for the principle of operation. <music> The fundamental line diagram I have already discussed in which the various components were uh, attached or you can say conducted in that diagram from generating station to the load station. Okay. Now we will discuss about the principle, how the principle is important in this HVDC transmission or you can say the HVDC transmission system. Okay. HVDC transmission system from flow of the power from loading end to the consumer end. Okay, so I will start with showing you a diagram which I have already discussed. So this is the diagram, okay, I am making it a small version, okay. Now look at this. Now if I talk about this basic fundamental diagram, then you come to know that, then you come to know that it is having the generating point, okay. So this is your generator or you can, you can say the generator station. So generation station where the power is generated in the form of AC. Okay. Now then there is a bus bar. Here is the bus bar and filters are connected like this which I have been already discussed. And here is the compensator which is shown like this. Okay. This is the circuit breaker number one and this is the circuit breaker number two. If you know about the circuit breaker, it is actually a current interrupting device. If there is a fault condition in power system or power system lines, then the circuit breaker contacts will open and uh, will interrupt the arcing current or you can say the short circuit current which may damage, damage to your system. And this is the transformer T1 and this is the transformer number T2. These are actually called the smoothing reactor which I have already discussed in the last lecture. These are called the smoothing reactor smoothing reactor okay and this is your IDC this is called your DC filter okay and this is also a DC filter and these are the smoothing reactors now I will talk about this one this is a converter station one second this is converter station station number one this is converter station number two okay so th this is the basic fundamental diagram now what is the principle of operation at the generation side it is generated in the form of ac okay and with which is having the low voltage so ac ac transmission happen or you can say the ac generation ac generation and having the low voltage value but for the transmission we need high voltage value so this low voltage value will go up to here and before going to the circuit breaker it will be filtered out by the AC filters so this is called AC filters AC filters okay now it will go to circuit breaker and there is a transformer T1 which will which is actually a step up transformer which is actually a step up transformer it will uh, it will increase the value of the voltage from primary to secondary from primary to secondary it will increase the voltage value and then it will transmit it to the converter station where the transformation from ac to dc will occur and while doing this it will have the some pulsations and in the pulsations in the pulsation these pulsations are actually not required uh, or you can say these are harmonious to our system then a smoothing reactor will minimize these pulsations and also we have attached the DC filter so the DC filter will also minimize the oscillations which are occurring in the DC. Now it will transmit it to the uh, this DC link which I have already discussed that it is having the three types of DC links which are one is the homopolar 
or you can say the I will start with the monopolar, then bipolar, then the homopolar. Monopolar had one only one link for the transmission. Bipolar had the only two, two links for the transmission, and homopolar is having one link. And but it is the grounded system, neutral grounding written. Then this power will flow from this to this. There is a converter station number two. If I am if I am having the converter station number two then this DC to AC transmission will happen and this is the transformer T2. Now we have come to a point where the again we are getting the AC, uh, AC conversion and this AC is having the at high voltage so it will convert or it will reduce its voltage value for the distribution HV to LV and then it will go to the uh, circuit breaker for if there is a short circuit condition over current condition then it will uh, interrupt that short circuit condition okay and here is again the AC filter now it it will be distributed to the consumers so the consumers will be consumers may be a type of your factories or uh, your household purposes and then it is transmitted so from generating to the load station the power is or you can say the voltage signals are transport transmitted like this I hope you have under, uh, understood up to this so and we will proceed in the next uh, lectures in the next next slides okay so tata bye bye see you soon